Hey guys, it's December 9th, 2020. I'm Kimberly Jolly with uh, Fat Quarter Shop Floss Tube, and I'm super excited to show you Jolly Housewives. So um, Jolly Housewives is an event I'm doing with Priscilla and Chelsea of Stitching with the Housewives, and I'm stitching some of their Christmas patterns that came out since um, our, um, when I stitched in the summer. So um, for Jolly July, so I'm doing more Christmas. So I'm gonna kind of show you what I've been up to, what they've been up to, but just as like a tease, last night I fulfilled a bucket list. So I have very few bucket list items on my list because I don't like to go very many places. But I'm gonna see if any of you can guess what I did last night and we'll talk about it at the end. So, um, yeah, I think Lily will probably figure it out. So here's my book, and I'm going to just kind of show you what I've been working on and kind of go over some of my color changes. So this is Santa Claus's Coming to Town. Here's the pattern. And I don't think I've made any changes to this one. Yep, I haven't made any changes to colors or anything. I, oh, actually I did. So I filled in his eyes to black. I changed his two gloves and his, um, I guess, feet to black. They were green. Everything else I have kept exactly the same. I haven't changed any colors. I just added some black here. Now, what I'm hoping to do this week is to finish. There are four more gingerbread house here, and there's also this red and white check. Depending on how much time I have, I might do both so that next week I'm completely finished since there's not very much left to it. And um, we'll kind of see how the week goes, but I really love the font on this and I love the, the Santa. He's like the traditional Santa. So that was one of the things I worked on this week. And um, this finishing was on a, let's see, post box found at Hobby Lobby in the seasonal section. So I know some of you guys have been um, finding them on sale. So if you want this little box, I would get it now before it sells out. And this bag is from Christy at Crosshatch Quilts. So that was one of the items. And then, This is called A Merry Little Christmas. So on this one, let's see if I made any changes. Okay, I haven't changed anything on this one. I didn't change colors, I didn't change threads, and I am stitching on 14 count dyed effect aqua fabric flare. And I love it. And so what I am going to do, this is my stitch for today, I think. I need to stitch the word Mary. And I am going to out, I'm going to outline it in red. I'm going to have, instead of black in these two spots, I'm going to have red. And what I will do is I will stitch all of the white and then add the red. So that shouldn't take me too much time today. And this one's going to be really cute. Um, I want to finish it just like that too. It's so cute. I love the colors on this one. So that is one of the other items. And all of these I'm going to be finished before Christmas, so that is so exciting. This one is from... I need to cover the chart. Hold on. So I'm going to take that out just so you don't see the chart. This one is called Winter Berries. It is from the Punch Needle and Primitive Stitches magazine, the winter issue. And I made a pretty big boo-boo here. So I'm going to show you first um, kind of what I've done different and then show you my boo-boo. Um, so I removed the chicken. I'm going to remove the chickens. Oh, right here there were chickens. And I removed those. And so when I do the other side, I'll also remove the chicken. And I, this is how I drew it. <laughs> So I am very, um, Lily and Denise know, I'm very, like, I just don't know technology and I 
don't feel like at this age I should learn it. So this is my version of fixing it. So what I did is I drew from the actual pattern what with the chicken and then I took the chicken out and then this is what I stitched. And I went ahead and pulled out the two, the, the pages from the magazine. So here is the design. And when I'm done, I can just put these two pages back in and no one will know the difference. So see these two chickens? I just took those out. Now my big mistake, I don't know what I was thinking, but I didn't leave any room at the bottom. I don't know if when I started stitching, I didn't intend to leave this out. So I'm not sure what I was thinking, but there's zero chance that I can get that in and Priscilla be able to finish it. So I'm going to um, just leave the bottom row off. But yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. Um, I do know last time I went to the framer, she was like, you're not giving us very much room to work with. So I need to give them a little, I like to leave two inches and I think they need three. So I'll have to keep that in mind. But this week I will, um, I went ahead and finished the barn. I did add black to the windows I didn't change any colors or anything else except removing the chickens. I went ahead and left the little lamb or sheep right here. This week, I will probably do the trees or the snowman. I'll probably start with the snowman just because it's white and um, finish one of those. So that's for this week. And yeah, I have all this fabric, so I don't know what in the world I was thinking and last week when I was showing I was like gosh I really did start in the in the bottom left and I don't know I don't know I guess that just happens sometimes we all do it and um, this is a bag from dot dot goose designs and it has piggy so yeah it was so funny my nanny had to stay late last night and she Piggy's always like starving and does all these tricks to try to get food and she never believes me. She's like, oh, I don't know. And then last night she was like, your dog is crazy. He's jumping around. I'm like, that means he wants food. She's like, oh my goodness. She's like, I didn't ever believe you. And I'm like, yep. So he, cause he'll jump off the bed and then run around the kitchen until we feed him. So this is uh, Rudolph and Mr. Claus. And so the, this is kind of the first week and then the second week it's basically a mirror image and the ribbons oh my gosh i was so nervous about doing these ribbons because i was so afraid when i got here that this wasn't going to match up but it did so i was very very happy about that i filled in the eyes um, with black and i made no other changes i kept all the thread the same and I love it. So this week I will either start at the bottom or the top. I'm not really sure which and kind of I will build him a build him either from the top to the bottom or the bottom to the top. And I'm going to leave. I think I'm going to leave the Santa there. It's so cute. But yes, I was super nervous. I was even counting like when I got here. I was counting from here all the way over here to see if the number of stitches were right because I was like, oh my gosh, if I get all the way to the bottom and it doesn't line up, oh, I'm not going to pull all that out. So, so cute. And I love the little um, snowmen. They're so cute. They're little snowmen with reindeer antlers. And this bag is from Layla May Designs. I bought it last year in one of their sales. And then this one is probably my favorite of all of them. This is December Trucking Along. And this took me forever. I didn't think I was ever going to finish these um, trees. So it took me six hours to do the two trees. So this is meant to be stitched as two separate pieces like Priscilla did where she put this at the top and this at the bottom with something in the center. But I have been doing mine all as one. And so when I did the trees, there's three, four colors in the trees. There's a white, a light green, a dark green, and then a red. So what I did is I did, um, I did all of the light green first. Then I came back, put in the white, then the dark green, and then I added the Smyrna stitches or Smyrna stitches. 
And I went ahead and did this also because I wanted to make sure when I stitched this and went down that this aligned before I put the truck, just in case something was off. And this one has a reindeer right here. So I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna leave the reindeer here or add piggy, I'll probably add piggy. And then there's a little chicken here and I probably leave the chicken off. So super exciting. And I haven't changed any colors, um, anything to the design. My bags, oh my gosh, they're so cute. And then this is my last one. So this is the one that I've made the most changes to. And you can see I stopped right in the middle of stitching. Oh yeah, I just stopped right in the middle of stitching yesterday. Probably because I got so excited about what I was gonna do. I just stopped right in the middle. I just said, forget it. My life is complete now. Okay, so I do wanna show you all of the changes since I know that there were some questions. <laughs> That's so embarrassing, I did just leave that. I got so, so, you can ask Denise, I was so excited. I was about to pee my pants. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'll have no idea. Okay, so this is called Up on the Housetop. I did make some changes here. So, right here in the windows, this called for yellow is Finley Gold and I used Ginger Snap. I just wanted my windows to be less yellow. For the green, I used steamed broccoli instead of grasshopper, and I used ribbon red instead of licorice red. Now, the only reason I changed the red and the green is because I had, from all of Priscilla and Chelsea's previous patterns, I had a ton of that left over, and I didn't want to buy anything. Um, so those were only changed because that would just save me time placing an order. Up here, I put reindeers. These reindeers are on Priscilla's blog, which is priscillas2000.blogspot.com. So I did that. And the color that I used on the reindeer is trail dust. And I added, the only thing I added was I put some black in their eyes. And I left the S off of the sleigh. So this is what I was able to do this week so what I am going to do, so this part right here, nothing has changed right here. The red, I'm gonna add the green and the red. And then right here around the door, there's a lot of holly and I'll probably decide um, what I'm gonna add there. But yeah, my goal was to have the whole house done, but I got so excited yesterday, I couldn't concentrate and I couldn't finish the house. So this is where we're at on him so cute and this one I oh sorry let me get that chart out of here sorry I need to that was me not being prepared because I got so excited so that is oh sorry Priscilla's gonna kill me so so that is my Jolly July for this week so I'm happy to answer any questions before I show you what Priscilla and Chelsea have been working on yes also not Jolly July right so, sorry Jolly Housewives. Sorry. Just clarifying. I don't even know what I just said. I'm still on a high from last night. All right. We do have a few guesses, and I'll get to those soon. Okay. But we had a question from Crafting and Plan Life. Did she color that with colored pencils, or how did she do the coloring on her change? That's an Excel spreadsheet, and then um, I just drew some grid lines, and then there's, um, like, you just put colors in the squares, like shading or whatever. So yeah, it's just an Excel spreadsheet where I made the row, the row width and the column width kind of the same, added some grid lines, but that's like, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it would be great to learn all the fancy stuff, but I just don't want to. You could also take like grid paper and colored pencils, right? And yes. Like yes. Okay, good. There you go, Lily. <laughs> from Mary Ashcraft on the December truck how many rows between the top and bottom portion do you do to be able to put the whole thing on one piece of fabric so some of them I've done two stitches and some of them I've done one and on the December I left one stitch between the top and the bottom and what I do is I find the very center mark that Chelsea puts on the pattern and then from the top I count down one stitch 
and I start in the center, go to the outside, and then kind of make sure that everything's lining up. And then if not, I just kind of fudge it. So um, on the September, I believe, I totally messed up the alignment, or maybe it was October. One of them, I messed up the alignment, so I just like moved some stitches over to make it look okay, instead of ripping everything out. Because I started one stitch to the left, or one stitch to the I started one stitch off. Okay, from Barb Wells, question, when I railroad, the thread gets tangled. Do you have any tips on how to keep that from happening? So I would unthread your needle, separate your threads. I'll show you. Let me find. Also, Barb is wearing the same shirt you're wearing in her profile picture, and I think that's awesome. Is she? What, yeah. What's in my profile picture? Oh, no, Barb's profile picture, not your profile picture. Oh. Okay, so... What I would do is take your needle out, which I already did. Put the needle in between the two threads, separate them completely. You know, just straighten them, put them back together and rethread. And that will keep things. That's what I do all the time to keep it from I'm um, getting too tangled. From Don Downey, why does Kimberly always leave the chickens off? Because I'm not a chicken girl. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not, I don't like, I don't know. I am for 2021. 20, one of the things I'm going to do does have chickens. And I didn't tell Priscilla and Chelsea what I was going to do. And she was like, you know there's chickens, right? You know there's cows on that. You know there's stuff. I'm like, yeah, I know. I'm going to have to stitch chickens. <laughs> it's just not your favorite, right? Yeah, I'm just not. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I like everything to, like, fit my house. Mm -hmm. And I don't really have chickens in my house. Mm -hmm. My And also my, okay, my grandma, my granny, she had so many chickens in her house. She decorated with chickens and roosters. And like when she died, I was like horrified because we couldn't get rid of all of them. And I think like maybe the trauma of being in a house that had so many like decorations of that, that I just like, I was just like, okay, can I have that? That's funny. My mom likes to decorate her chicken with, or her chicken, her kitchen. Yes, that was what it roosters. was. It was like the kitchen. And so my granny, she died unexpectedly. And so, and my dad had just passed away. And so my mom was like in terrible grief and so I was like okay I'm just gonna handle it so I did I, I had to, like I hired a company to come in and like sell off what my mom and her siblings didn't want and the guy was like the auctioneer was like I don't think I've ever seen so many chickens I was like yeah I know That's funny. Um, from Glenda Reynolds I started my first piece on black and finding it very hard to stitch on any suggestions so I um, I would suggest either using a light or if you put like a white towel or something lighter in your lap, it will make it easier to see the holes. And from Gwen Smith, on Naked Bee Hand Lotion, what is the best scent? Vanilla. Ooh. Or every, everything I get is like vanilla. I, so last night, oh my gosh, one of the things that I did, I was like my best, one of my best friends from when I grew up was there. And I was like, check this out. I was like, put this on. And she was like looking at me and then she put the lotion on. She was like, oh my gosh, it's like the best lotion ever. And her husband even was like, let me have some of that. So like in the middle of all what we were doing, we were checking out my lotion. <laughs> uh, so here's some guesses about what okay. happened last night. Uh, Gail Stale said she learned how to do a pin stitch on Ada. No. Uh, Grateful Grammy says she cut a real Christmas tree. Oh my gosh, no. Y'all are like so <laughs> off. Nita Poole says, did you coffee and tea dye fabric? Oh no. I would I would pay Priscilla to do that for me or Lori. No. I would burn myself. So no, not that. Sue Kujawa says, I think you went to Hobby Lobby. Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> I did realize the other day though, there's a Hobby Lobby closer to my house than I realized. And I was like, oh, it's in like South Austin on... Um, Lamar it's hidden oh, yeah. and I was yeah. like oh that's kind of on my house I yeah. never I don't know I think I've been there once and Emma was like yeah that's always been there I was like yeah we could go there because Emma wants to get something for and I had told her oh, I don't want to drive all the way but yeah now we can that's great but no y'all are like uh, no 
Um, Angela Stoudinger said, I'm thinking maybe Kimberly went to the movies. Oh my gosh, no. I hate movies. <laughs> I have, no. Mm-mm. Uh, Jennifer Daniel Johnson's guess was, I wonder if Kimberly's bucket list included making her 1,000th quilt. No. And Lori knows where I went, and Priscilla and Chelsea know where I went, so y'all can't comment. <laughs> y'all can't say it. That's funny. Oh, yeah, Carrie Babbitt said, about the Hobby Lobby, it's behind Pint House. Pizza. On Lamar. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, Pint yeah, I've, I've only been there, like, once. It's kind of in a weird spot, um, and I passed it the other day, and I was like, why have I never, like, gone there? But, yeah. yeah where the Toys R Us used to be. I think I've only been to Hobby Lobby once in 2021. Uh, Val Earl said, you met Joe Kenda? No. LOL? <laughs> no. No, no, no. No, but that would be kind of cool. He did, like, a cruise. He's done a cruise with, um, Joe Kenda has done a cruise with the guy who was the actor who played him in the show. And um, I was always kind of like, that was kind of like, I would have loved to go on a cruise just to like, I don't even know that I would want to meet them. I just think I would like to hear their stories. Okay, oh man, there's a lot more guesses. Okay, um, hang on. Nina Poole said, Kimberly went to Priscilla's house to see all her Christmas decorations. No, Priscilla <laughs> probably wouldn't let me come. No. That's funny. Gwen Smith, my guess is that Kimberly met one of her, one of her true crime podcast people. Nope. Oh. Uh, Laura Whitfield said, Kimberly went to the Nutcracker Sweet Ballet. Oh, no, that would be terrible. No. <laughs> I, my daughter is a great dancer, but I, that's kind of like movies for me. I have taken my kids to see the Nutcracker, but I don't enjoy it. Because I don't like, yeah. Okay. Um, one more, and okay. then we'll move on for now. From Home Mom, uh, did you see Chip and Joanna? No. <laughs> no. No. I don't, yeah, I would, I mean, if I saw somebody like that, I wouldn't even talk to them like last night in the middle of all this i i was a few feet from somebody very famous and i didn't say anything mm. and then i told my friend i was like you know how that is right and she's like who and i told her and she was like who's that i'm like oh my gosh and i told kevin later i said kevin you know that so and so was standing right next to you and he was like he was <laughs> i'm like how do these people not know and then anyway he came back and kevin was like oh you were right i was like of course i was right i'm That's always funny. right my guess was originally going to be you won Chick-fil-A for life. Oh, no. That would be something. That would be kind of cool, though. So I think Chick-fil-A, <laughs> what do you do? You sit outside of a restaurant all night, right? When it's about to, a new one's about to open. You get, like, free Chick-fil-A for a year, I think. So Kathy did that. Kathy, who does clubs, she oh, did that. And she did it in the one in Buda, and mm -hmm. she got it for for life. Or for a year. That's I think you get year. it for a year. Yeah. No, I would, I would probably do that. <laughs> I'd probably, yeah, I, I would pro I don't know with the state of the world right now, if I would do that. But I, I would do that if it was a safe area. I would do it. Yeah. Um, I don't think that'd be on my bucket list, though, because I can afford the Chick-fil-A. This was yeah. one of those things that I never thought I would ever, ever, ever have the opportunity to do in the same night with these two people, oh. ever. Okay. And when I say it, y'all are going to be like, oh, she talked about them last week. Okay. Now I'm, I'm going to give away thinking. too much information. Um, before we move on, keep putting in your guesses. And super chat from Valeria Bauer for 19.99. Thank and you. And she put a little pair that's dancing with a top hat and a cane saying, you are amazing. Thank you. And then we also had another super chat from Dot Dot Goose Design Denise for $50. And Denise says, happy holidays from me and Mrs. Gracie. Thank you. Sorry, Miss Gracie, not Mrs. Thank you. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. So now I'm going to show you what Priscilla and Chelsea have been working on for Jolly Housewives. So the first one is Freedom Delivery. And Lily's going to pop that up. And it is really cute. This came out this morning. And I'm thinking about stitching it. So it's Santa Claus with two flags. I love it. And I love the um, covered button she did with her brand new fabrics. So Priscilla and Chelsea have some brand new fabrics coming out. We, they started with Priscilla's plaids. Next year, they're going to have Chelsea's checks, which are the same exact colors, mm. different scale. I cannot put those online for pre-sale until January 4th. So on January 4th, I will start, um, I will start uh, pre-selling that. And that is, you can see a peek of that in the little covered button. But I love how she put the ribbon on the bottom with the rickrack. I love it. So I might stitch that one. I might add that one. So that's a brand new PDF. You can get it in the Priscilla and Chelsea 
Stitching with the Housewives Etsy shop, or you can find them on our What's New page today. And then the next one she stitched for Jolly Housewives is Santa's Cookies. There we go. And let's see. I'm going to find mine and show it. It's right there on the tree. Okay. So I'm going to take it off the tree real quick. So I got this back. Hold on. I'm like, I can't. So I can't even hold it up straight. What's my deal? So there's mine. And so, yeah. So that's hers. Oh, so cute. And look how she um, finished hers with a little gingerbread button. Oh, mine has it too. Look, right there. Yeah. I can't even see from the screen. My eyesight is so bad. Yeah. It's so cute. And then the next one she worked on was Candy Cane Coop. And this is the one. So she had originally, Chelsea had originally stitched that in black. And she wanted to stitch it on aqua. So she's stitching Candy Cane Coop, and you can see um, Piper. She's so cute. Mm -hmm. I want to go to Chelsea's house just so, I want to go to Priscilla's house just so Piper can bite me. <laughs> that dog is so, I would see, I would try to see if he, I could get him to like me. Mm -hmm. And then the next one is Mrs. Claus Cookies, which is, mine is right here. Da, 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 da. So cute, and I kept all the colors the same. And look at how Piper, oh my gosh. Piper's so the best sweet. model. I just want to throw that out there. I know, and his nose. Do you notice that his nose is too colored? Yeah. It's like, it's like reindeer. It reminds me of like, what do you call that? Like the little cat? The cat face? Or? I don't know. Yeah, something. And then the next one is Gingerbread Cottage. There we go. There we go. And so she finished that this week. And here's mine. So I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. And it's the same. She's got the same. You'll see it up close when I do it. She has the same little button. Those buttons are cute. And then Chelsea's also been stitching for Jolly Housewives. And this is her A Merry Little Christmas. And so she, um, Priscilla and Chelsea, um, dyed Monaco. And then they put it in a light tea dye. And they do have a video on their YouTube channel on how to do that. And then the next one she's working on is Freedom Delivery, which is the PDF that came out this morning. So let me know if you'll have any questions on anything Priscilla and Chelsea did. Um, if you want, oh, last night they posted their um, holiday home tour. So um, I haven't seen it yet because, um, yeah, I haven't seen it yet. Um, oh, I'm going to give away too many clues. Uh, I haven't seen it yet, so yeah, I'm going to watch it today. All right, well, we wait for questions to roll in. A few more guesses from Wilma Evans. You got another piggy, so piggy has a playmate? Um, no, but I, that would be awesome, but no. Uh, Denise Whitcomb said, met a serial killer in person? No, I, don't, I wouldn't want to meet a serial killer in person, <laughs> but no. I did. I do have tickets. I will say I do have tickets to go to Crime Con in Austin. I do have tickets. Ooh. And that is in June, and I'm pretty fairly certain by June they won't cancel it. Fingers crossed. Yes. Sandra Hagen said, you went into an escape room? No, I have done that. I did that at the very beginning of the shutdown because... They were open in the city we were in, and it was really, um, it was really fun, but it really brings out the personality of your kids, because I had two kids who were trying to run the show, and two kids who were, like, not wanting to run the show, and there was a lot of fighting in those escape rooms, and I was thinking, because they watch when you're in an escape room, the person watches, and I was like, these people probably think my kids are crazy. Me and Kevin were laughing. I mean, we thought it was great and funny, and <laughs> but we, we never got out of any of them. We That's did it three funny. times, and we never got out of any of them. Oh, wow. I love escape rooms. They're fun. It was. It's not what I thought it was. I thought you went into, this is what I thought it was. I thought you went into a blank room that was black, and you had to find the door. And that all the lights were off. That's what I thought an escape room was. <laughs> I didn't know what it really was. And when I went in it, I was so confused. Yeah, it's like you have to solve clues and move to the next room and then get yeah. out Yeah, so and... on the very last room, we solved it because they gave us more time. But really, we didn't even get close. 
I like them because they make me feel like Sherlock Holmes. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's good for your self-esteem. Um, anyways, uh, guess from <laughs> Nikki Radcliffe. <laughs> She's guessing that you went to the National Finals Rodeo. No. No, okay. no, no. No. A lot of people are guessing that Matthew McConaughey was somehow involved since he lives in Austin. No. <laughs> that would be funny, though. That would be funny. But no. Um, Susan Rose said you filmed a home tour of your house? No, my house is a disaster. <laughs> um, right now, my house, yeah, uh, my house is a disaster. I wish I could film a home tour right now, but I've got, like, computers all over the place for home learning. Deborah Greenfield said, did you go to a Make-A-Wish fundraising event with famous people? No, that would be awesome, though. Mm -hmm. They do have an event, but the tickets are, like, so expensive. Kevin and I are like, yeah, I think we'll just give money. And we don't think... Well, also, like, it's not even that. It's, like, black tie. I'm like, oh, yeah, no. (laughs) I don't think so. Mm -hmm. But no. Uh, Jennifer Daniel Johnson says, is there a quilting hall of fame that Kimberly was inducted into? No. No. (laughs) Uh, Judy Davis said, you met Nancy Grace? I've already met her before. So that was a bucket list item. I have a really great photo of us together. Mm -hmm. I met her at CrimeCon 2018. Um, Yeah. So I've already met her, but that's, yeah. And she's so beautiful and so funny and so nice. And I know she can be controversial, but man, I love her. Uh, And then someone had a similar guest to mine. Oh, it was Jennifer Daniel Johnson. Uh, Did you get Starbucks MVP top member? No, but what is that? I don't know. My oh. guess was like endless Starbucks for life or lots of tea or no. something. Or no, okay, so, so I wouldn't consider that a bucket list because I can afford Starbucks. Mm, okay. This is something, it wasn't about the money. Like Denise can tell, like I'll tell the whole story later, but I was so excited and Kevin was like, whatever. He didn't even care. He was like, I guess, whatever. He's like, I mean, it was like something that was so like in my soul and he was like, mm, whatever. And I was like, I'll just take Denise. And he was like, whatever. He didn't even care. But he did have a great time. And he, I think now mm. he's like, okay, you are right. Because okay. I do always have to be right. Okay. That's a trait that Emma got for me. That's not the best trait ever. I'm going to give one more guess and get to questions. Stitching with the Sister Lee said, did you meet Willie Nelson? Mm-mm. No, but Willie I can Nelson tell you that my grandfather used to clean his chimney. And my brother used to work for my, so my grandfather was a chimney sweep and he used to clean his chimney and my uncle also worked for him. And um, they also cleaned the fiddler for George Strait. And my brother has always talked about how, like when he went to the house, like all the fiddles that were on the wall and um, yeah. So yeah, but no, I've, no. And we have a question from Susan McCallan. When are the Classic Colorworks Floss coming back in stock for Santa Claus is Coming to Town? I don't know. Um, We have it all on order. So um, we, like, have all the colors, but, like, two or three, that's the thing. And so she's just got a DMC shortage. So with um, shortage, she's not able to dye as much, so... And Grateful Grammy was asking, are there any color fast variegated threads? No. Well, actually, one of the fancy flosses is color fast. Cheryl might know which one it is. I think it's Weeks Dye Works. Is, but I still, if it was me, I would never, I wouldn't trust it. Not that, not on the brand, but I just would be scared to wash anything that was hand dyed. But we'll, Denise will look it up and find out. Uh, funny comment from Stella Napier. She said, Kimberly, the best place for a chicken is on a plate. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. I'll have to tell that joke. Okay, to my to my to my son. Um, so Weeks Dye Works is color fast. Okay. All right. Keep putting your guesses in, guys, and we're gonna move on. Okay. So Stitch Cards G just came out, and I'm very excited about these. So Stitch Cards are Lori Holt patterns, and she comes out with one a quarter. In your Stitch Card, you always get four designs, and the inside is always the same size which is 24 stitches by 24 stitches so she came out with these four and if you are in the club we shipped your pattern set december 7th 
And if you're not in the club, now you can purchase them. And to did it today, Denise released a blog post at 9 a.m. on how to finish it with something that I'm going to show you in one second. We have some DMC thread packs. This, these pillows were stitched. I'm going to show you the four pillows. Oh, I'm going to show you the four. That, so Denise stitched these on Lori Holt's 25 count parchment cloth and with the DMC thread pack. So on her, Lori's stitch card, she always uses DMC colors and that's it. She doesn't put a fancy floss on it. And on her video, Lori Holt's video that she posted a week and a half ago, she showed this. So what she does is she sews this around the edge, she flips it out, she stitched down some lace from her Be Natural Lace, and then she put some of her buttons and she pinned it on with the Tim Holtz pin. And so we went ahead and ordered these Tim Holtz pins and there's two different sizes and one of the sizes arrived this morning. So we will have those online today. So this is one thing you can do with the stitch cards. And I wanna show you that the wreath can be this way or this way. Okay. So on the cover, she has the bow at the bottom. And on what I made, I put the bow at the top. So this is what we released the blog post on. And we used Lori's Chalky Chicks paint and Morning Glory for this. The Sorry. Morning Sky, what did I say? Morning Sorry, I am still on a high from last night. This is the Riley Red trim. Denise finished this for me. I stitched this on 14 count malted milk. And I used the side that has the modeling on it. And we did a blog post this morning. Denise did all of the work on that. And um, Lori came up with the idea of how to do it. And I'm gonna show you the back. This is from Hobby Lobby. $2.29, very inexpensive. It comes just like this. And so Denise painted it. She used two coats. Everything that she did is in the blog post. And then we put everything on here so that if I ever want to come back and know what I did, it's all right here. So you can see the stitch cards look great on Ada or 25 count or anything you wanna do it on. And the one thing that I did do here is I put eight stitches in between and Lori came up with all this idea. So she went into Hobby Lobby, she found this. She did the math on how many stitches we would need for it to fit and she told me to do the eight. So thank you to Lori, yeah, she showed me all of it. And then I, like I said, the wreath can go up or down or all around. I'm gonna <laughs> sing a Dave Matthews song now. So that's um, so exciting. I'm excited to take this home and let my kids see it. They haven't seen it yet. Um, sometimes I'll just put stuff up and then see if any of my kids notice it. And right now they might notice it more because they're elf in the shelf. They're looking everywhere. So they might notice it more now. <laughs> Um, speaking of Dave Matthews, lots of people are guessing that your event had to do with Dave Matthews. No, I would say that Dave Matthews is on my bucket list, but I'm not a fan of concerts. I'm not a fan of being around that many people. And I don't know that I would do it now that two of the original five members are gone and they've changed kind of like some of the horns are not there. And I don't know that it would be the same as it would have been. 10 years ago or even five years ago when all the band members were still in there. But yes, I, um, yeah, I, one of my bucket lists was seeing Beastie, Boy, Beastie Boys um, in concert and I did do that. And Kevin died, he was just like, oh my God. Cause I stood up the whole time and was like singing the whole time and he was just like, oh, he was horrified. Um, but yeah, Dave Matthews, I mean, I would love to see him. I don't know, 
Like, I would never search out tickets or ever. I don't know. I'm not a. I don't feel that comfortable being around that many people. Lily knows. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit like I'm nervous. My anxiety kicks in. I start counting things and I don't even pay attention. But yes, that is a very good guess. And I mean, like if I ever had the opportunity, I would definitely take it. I'd probably just hide in the very back. <laughs> uh, Leslie Chain had said, Lori, move next door. Oh, no, but that would be amazing. Mm -hmm. My house next door sold. So I'm hoping like maybe some kids move in next door. Oh. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, Kathy Huff guessed business of the year participant. Nope. Okay. Lori Roth guessed did Kimberly win shoes for life. No. <laughs> No, I don't even have that many shoes. You know who that would be a bucket list for Miss Lily. Yes. Lily, I don't think she ever wears the same shoes. That's funny. Right, let me see your shoes today. I do. Oh, yeah, I've seen those before. Yeah, so I have seen those before. That's funny. I do have quite a few shoes. Uh, question from Lisa D. Is there a 28 count even weave equivalent for Ada? I prefer Ada if possible. So 28 count would refer to like a linen or an even weave or a Lugana. An Ada 28 account equivalent would be 14 count Ada. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how high does Ada go? That's my own question. 40. Okay. I think it goes more than 40, but I don't, yeah. A lot of people, when you watch um, floss tubers, a lot of the like true cross stitchers who do it like authentically, I mean, they stitch some beautiful stuff on 40 count. <laughs> Sorry, we're looking at a comment that just came in from Jennifer Daniel Johnson. She said, could anyone imagine Kimberly in a mosh pit? <laughs> oh, no, that would not. I definitely can. not Well, you know, where I was at last night, I actually said to my friend, I said, remember when we used to come here and see Ian Moore? Because he was an Austin musician and we used to go watch him. And that was when Austin wasn't so so many people you could just go and you could see a show and it wouldn't be like a million people and you'd just be like right there and she was like mm, i don't remember that i'm like okay <laughs> all right question from princess p holly martin for the clubs is there a way to see on the website when they ship yeah so when you go to any of our products you click into it scroll to the very bottom and it will say this club ships around this time of the month uh, from Judy Kepler, oh my word, the writing on the library card is beautiful. So thank you. That is Katie. I'm not going to say her last name, but she does photography and she does those for me and Denise. And it's amazing because I have, if you've ever gotten a thank you card for me, you know that my handwriting is horrible. Mm -hmm. All right. And this was a guest from me and a few other people. Did you see Dave Chappelle live? I did with Joe Rogan oh okay yeah so so what i'll t i'll yeah i'll tell the story how it happened yeah so i had talked about them in last week's pod last week's live stream i think mm -hmm. so yeah i did i saw dave Chappelle, joe rogan and i about just i literally was about to fall out of my chair and pee my pants and my friend was like dying to it was so <laughs> funny i mean it was I love both of them, but we'll talk about it more at the end because I know some people could care less. Yes, we can save it. Yeah. But yes, I got it. I, that was one of, I wrote it down. That was one of my guesses at the beginning of the show. My other guess was Snoop Dogg. No, but that, <laughs> oh, I would, I, now if I saw him, I would talk to him. Now, that is a different, there's a lot of famous people that I would just ignore, like last night, who I, so last night, Ron White was standing, literally, not even six inches from me. And I was, do you, yeah, and then Denise just said, Y'all don't know who he is? Very famous comedian. Uh, he was in the blue collar comedy. He's probably before you guys' time, but uh, I've seen him probably eight times live. So one thing that I like to do is I like to see comedians. We'll talk more about it at the end, but like Mitch Hedgeberg, my favorite comedian of all time, saw him probably six times. Saw him literally a month before he died. Um, so Kevin and I like comedy shows. He apparently has forgotten because when I told him yesterday, he was like, oh, whatever. And then he was like laughing so hard last night. I was like, oh, I want to kick you out of here. I'll tell the story at the end. Sorry, I'm getting so excited. All right, uh, real quick. We have a super chat from Lori Roth for $4.99. And Lori says, thank you for being you. I appreciate all your hard work and Lily's great camera work. Thank oh, you. Thank you. That's very sweet. So I'm going to show you Prim Stitch series now also. 
So Prim Stitch Series started six months ago. We're on number six. All of these are designed by Lori Holt. This is our sixth release. It's called Home and Hearth. We shipped out the patterns to our club members. And if you're not a club member, you can buy this on December 14th our club members get it first. I did want to point out in this, we list the color of paint that Lori uses because Lori finishes these for us. She always uses her prim fabric collection for the back. She uses her lace. And so they're all finished similarly, but we do um, list the paint color on the back right in here so that if you're ever curious, you can find that. So I stitched these. I've actually stitched through number nine. I've stitched through number eight and Cheryl stitched number nine. And then 10 through 12 haven't been done yet. So I really had fun doing this one. And I'm stitching with RF Floss and the RF Floss box. I'm not sure when I'm done how I'm going to display all of these. So this is number six. And then I'm gonna show you all the previous ones also. This was number one, Patriotism and in Industry. And of course, um, I used all the called for colors, et cetera, because I was making the sample. And Lori is actually stitching this in one piece. And we're gonna show that in a little bit. And I did wanna let you guys know, a lot of people have been asking, they keep saying, I wish Lori would show us how she finishes it. Lori hasn't finished it yet but she will show you how she finishes it. And I'm sure she's gonna talk about it on her YouTube channel. So if you're stitching it as one piece, just be patient um, and she'll show you. Cause I, we're getting a lot of those questions. And to be honest, I don't think she knows how she's gonna finish it yet. This is number two, joy and contentment. It's so pretty. And this is her medium square frame that she painted. It comes white and she paints it. Number three is Peace and Plenty. And this one reminds me of my Aunt B because she likes angels. So cute. Number four is Kindness and Generosity. And these are all stitched on 25 count prim. prim. And this one is number five, Beauty and Simplicity. And this one's kind of cool because you can turn it any way. It's the same, symmetrical. So I wanted to let you guys know of that. That's our second club I wanted to talk about. And let me know if you have any questions on the Prim Stitch series. It's designed by Lori Holt. I'm gonna show you her, her image of where she was at when she had done her sixth one. And so there is a free, there is a free border layout that you can get for the borders on our website and on our blog. And that is how Lori's um, doing hers all is one piece. And then at the end, she will show us what she's going to do. Uh, Lori Holt said, yes, I do. I'm framing it. Yeah, so she's going to frame it, but I think, so Lori, people are wanting to know exactly what you're doing because they keep asking on our YouTube channel. So we promise that when Lori is done, we're going to give you all the details of what she, what she does, what frames she buys, what colors she paints it. We're going to give you all the details. From Deborah Schultz, will the Country Cottage Sampler series start shipping soon? Yes. So it is scheduled to run today. And we're going to talk about it in two segments. But yes, if you are in that club, which we're going to talk about in a little bit, it's over here, that is shipping today. Uh, Sarah Laura had said, does Kimberly have 16 decorated trees in her house like Priscilla? No, no. Priscilla's house is beautiful. I couldn't even, like mine couldn't even touch a, uh, mine's not even close. I have two trees. And the reason we have two is we have one that the kids can do whatever they want. So if they want it to be pink, they can do whatever they want to do. It's a group decision they have to decide. So like this year, they really wanted to add green, but then they got outvoted. But anyway, it's a tree that they can decorate and they get to pick whatever they want to put on it. And then we have one that is just 
I consider it my tree, but it's just farmhouse-ish. And um, I just got all the decorations at Kirkland's because that, I love Kirkland's. So, um, yeah. But no, and like my, yeah, no. Question from Holly O'Brien. I'm about to start my first even weave project on 25 count Lugana. Any suggestions? I think it'll be great. Um, I've stitched over two. Um, Jam Hicks is stitching over one the prim stitch series if you want to see that um i think it's pretty easy to work with because it's equivalent to 12 and a half so 25 count is equivalent to 12 and a half so it's actually bigger than a 14 count ada like bigger like more it's easier to see i guess and i didn't understand this comment when it was put up but i checked in the chat um and janet Catlick said they call me tater salad yeah that's uh, ron's ron white Okay. that was his that was his gimmick and yeah okay. but yeah he was literally like i could have just touched him like he literally they were trying to they were trying to like kick him out kind of he sat down because there was like we were very close to the stage and he sat down at like a little bar stool and like the security came up and was like sir and he was like i'm about to go backstage and I could hear him say I could go backstage. And I was like, I looked and I was like, oh, it's Ron White. I mean, just because, I mean, I've seen him probably, I don't even know how many times, like eight. What, I stood in line to see him when I was pregnant with Emma. I was eight months pregnant on 6th Street for two hours to get in the show. And we, me and Kevin were like one of the last people to get in. Like that level of fan but i am very um i love comedians i love comedy i could watch it all day long like i yeah i mean yeah and question from donna maryfield i am on the waiting list for the floss clubs after a period of time do you need to put the name back on the list does she need to do something no but if you if you have questions or anything just email elva at fatquartershop.com or kathy c-a-t-h-y at fatquartershop.com and just say hey just making sure i'm still on the list and you can say am i high on the list or medium in the list mm -hmm. okay. and funny comment from sarah lore uh, sarah says our elf is in quarantine until december 10th they are in decorating canning jars in the foyer watching the playroom until they come out masks are ready for them to wear when they get out oh that's funny <laughs> <laughs> that's great so my son Peyton loves stuffies it's kind of a it's kind of a joke because he's very funny and so wherever the elf ends up two of his stuffies have to sit nearby so the other day the elf was in my like my little fancy decorations and I was like what and I was like trying to move them and they were like he was like no they have to stay with the elf wherever the elf goes so wherever the elf goes these two things go and I'm thinking oh my gosh something is gonna get broken it's funny. So funny. So I want to show you um, snapshots because we have finished one more. So this is a brand new club that is starting in January. We're probably going to close membership soon. I'm going to show you January through July. This club starts in January and ships on the third of each month. Five days after we ship the club, we're going to post our DMC conversions on our blog. So if you're not part of the club and you already have the pattern or you want to stitch on a different cloth, you can. We have a video tutorial on how to finish this in this 8x10 frame on our Fat Quarter Shop Floss Tube channel, and it's called How to Frame Cross Stitch. And so this is a design series by Pine Mountain Designs, Sandra Workman. And so we have done taking her chart we have we're putting it with 10 count farmhouse we think anyway it's this cloth whatever that is sorry i can't remember and denise can't remember so this is january i stitched um january through february so this is february and on when you get your chart on the inside denise has put together a really nice um, conversion so you can tell where all your colors go this is Mart. this one is my favorite I love the I, I don't know the colors remind me of my boys this is April and it makes me happy and on this, you wouldn't need to buy 12 of these frames. You could just buy one frame and then 
pop everything in and out. Mm -hmm. And if you want to know this frame, that information is on the video I just referenced. Um, the only reason we bought 12 frames is because we wanted it to look nice on the camera. This was the first one I did. I kind of went out of order. This is May. This is probably this is probably my favorite over March. And then June, I stitched most of this, and then I ran out of time, and Cheryl helped me finish it. So this one's great if you're like a camper. And then July is just now finished, and Cheryl stitched this one for us because I kind of ran out of time. And this one's awesome. I love the fireworks and the little boy. He's so sweet. Where's the one we used for free so long? Okay, so let me know if you'll have any questions on any of that before I move on. Mm -hmm. We're trying to find something for the next segment. I don't know where it is. Oh. Okay, Judy Kepler was asking, do you have any extra Stitch Quarterly kits available from the most recent Stitch Quarterly? Um, I don't know. Do we? Okay, there it is, sorry. Um, do you know the answer to that? Sorry. Wait, what was the question? Uh, Stitch Quarterly, the most recent one, if there are extra kits available for purchase. More than More likely, than likely no. no. You could always email Kathy at fatquartershop.com and say, if there's an extra one, let me know. But um, that club, um, yeah, sold out. It's so cute. And we're doing a video right after this on how to finish it. And I'm excited because I'm going to take it home. It's very cute. Yes. Um, yeah. And I think it just a few people were wondering um, about the safety precautions that we're taking at the event. Oh, I will talk about that. I was Excellent. COVID tested. Don't worry. Like, yes. The, and I, I thought, oh, it'll just be a whatever test. No, it was the real deal COVID test. Both nostrils, they counted five seconds in each nostril. So it was the real deal test. And I'll explain. I'm going to, I'll talk about the whole thing. But yes, I mean, it was, and if you didn't pass, you just get your money back. Like you buy your, anyway, I'll explain the whole thing. But yes, no, it was, and you know, honestly, yeah, no. I mean, yeah, no. It was, you can see it online. Like you can look Dave Chappelle. Joe Rogan, the COVID protocol, you had to be at a table. To go to the event, you had to buy a table. You couldn't just buy a ticket. You had to buy a table of four, six, or eight, and you have to stay at your table. You couldn't, you could get up to go to the bathroom. You could not get up to go anything anywhere else. And if you went anywhere else, they would get you. Like, you were not allowed to, to leave. There was, they were, they were strict. Okay. So yeah, don't, don't worry about that. So I wanted to show you this next item is something that started on December 1st. And this is a free Christmas sew along. It's tiny. Yes. So this is completely free through December 2020, designed by Pine Mountain Designs. So you go to her website, which is linked in the description below. That's the only place you can get the free pattern. She downloads each day, so this is through day eight. So day nine, I haven't even looked today yet to see what um, she's using. Now she has a prep sheet that tells you it's 87 by 87. She also tells you her suggested colors. I'm using 14 count Ada and feed set color by Lori Holt. Um, I wanted something pretty, pretty light and it's called Christmas Block Stitch Along. And I'm gonna show you the colors that I am using because I have finalized my colors. And the only reason I didn't use her colors was because I didn't wanna buy anything. So all of this is from my stash. So I um, wanted to, this fabric was in my stash. I wanted, when I see stuff like this, I want to just use it and I wanna use what I have. So I don't wanna have to go and buy something. So I'm using Perfect Pie Crust for that was for his the shepherd's face. Blackboard by Weeks Dye Works, and that was for the little bells right here. This one is used a lot. This is cocoa, and so it's used in a lot of the blocks because it's like the stump, the branches, the tree stump, the shepherd. So for the greens, I'm using Baby Spinach by Gentle Arts. 
and Shutter Green by Gentle Arts. And so you can see the two greens here in the wreath and the tree. The left tree is darker and the light, the right tree is lighter. And so, like I said, I'm just mixing whatever I already have. Jaybird, I don't think I've used it yet, but that is gonna be my medium. Oh, I have, it's the scarf of the snowman. The 676 is DMC and it's on a floss flower. And so this is what I'm using for the yellow and for the orange, I'm using Marmalade by Weeks Dye Works. So you can see the difference in the, the DMCs on the left and the Weeks Dye Works is on the right. Black Coffee I'm using, of course, that is used in most of Priscilla and Chelsea's patterns, so I had plenty of it. Stepping Stones is, it was used for the shepherd's hair. Ribbon red, of course, I have a ton of ribbon red. And the lighter red, I used blue coat red. So you need two reds. So in the wreath, it's actually, you can't tell from the camera, but it does have the red and the pink. And this has the red and the pink. You just can't see it. But it does use two different colors. For the blues, I used blue jeans. That's for the house. That's my dark blue. My medium blue is Jaybird. And my light blue is Morris blue. And that was used in the border. And this, I started with the, with the new skein. And it was, I mean, I already had it. It just wasn't open yet. And so I'm hoping I don't need very much more. The sand, I haven't used yet, I don't think. But that's going to be used at some point. And the white... This is my B5200. So when I talk about using for my stash, if I get to the end, I'm hoping I have another one of these in my stash. But if not, I will buy this color. So that is the Pine Needles Free Sew Along. There, it, again, it's called Christmas Blocks Stitch Along. You can find it on Pine Needles website. You can just search Pine Needles Utah or there's a Facebook group where people are stitching on all different colors of floss and fabric. So you can kind of see what everybody's doing. Some people are doing it really big. Some are doing it small. Some are doing it dark. Some are doing it light. So there's that. And that's been a lot of fun. And with that, kind of what I did do, I will show this because I do think this is important. This was her sheet. It's called her prep sheet. So when you download and this is her called for colors and then she tells you the size on your different fabrics and what size to cut your fabric and what i did is i went ahead and put that in my book and then i put her original and as i have been going i've been adding my colors so when i the first couple of weeks i only had a couple of colors in here but as i'm using them I am, and you can see like this, I erased. That means that I didn't like what I had, so I erased it. And then this way, if I ever, you know, need to know what I did, I um, just find it. So that's super awesome. And it's a lot of fun to do. I think it's fun to pick your own floss, your own fabric, all that. And for a club update, Today's sampler of the month is scheduled to run. Oh, actually, yeah, let me um, ask, a answer questions before. Um, the one question we had was from Brenda Bitch asking, are you using three, st three strands for the snapshots? Six, four. No, I think I'm using six. I don't know, it's on the sheet. When you get it, it's on the sheet. I don't remember. I think I'm using four. I don't know, we, we have it written on the sheet. I don't remember. Okay, so I wanted to give you another club update. We've got so many clubs. So this is the brand new club by Country Cottage Needleworks. It's called Sampler of the Month. And this is going to ship today. The club is now closed due to um, lack of, you know, shortage of different products. Um, and we can't increase any spots. But you can find exactly what you need number of skeins on Country Cottage Needleworks site. It will obviously go from January to December. If you're in our club, 
and you get this, you will get all of your floss for the entire series, your January pattern, and enough floss for the first, enough fabric for the first six months. And in here, if you turn this over, it's gonna show you how to cut it. And then you will have this left over and you can use that for something else. And in a later month, you will receive the rest of the fabric to make it. And this is beautiful beige. Mm -hmm. And this is 16 count. This is 32 count. So we had a linen club and an Ada club. It's now closed, but I did just wanna show it to you. And you can still, um, we'll have the pattern online either today or tomorrow. And the reason that it was delayed was the fabric is made in Denmark. And so Denmark was closed for a couple of weeks. Um, and so that was our delay. So just apologies that it didn't come out. It's just, we needed to wait on the fabric. So let me know if there's any questions on any of that before I go to like some finishes. Lily says no questions. So this one I finished this week. This is a stitched finish. This is January trucking along. So I am actually, once I finish December, I will be 100% caught up with the trucking along series. She just came out or they just came out with the February design and that will be shipping today. Oh, today. So February, if you're in this club, you're going to get the February. So I will start the February in February because I'm going to do it as part of a series that we're doing in February. Um, but I'm going to be caught up. Now, the one thing that I did do different is I added little three stitches here, three stitches here, three stitches here for like little bows for their head, I guess. I, and then I made these heads a little bit bigger than that. I added piggy here. I took the chicken off and just put a snowflake and I left the bottom the same. And then let me look at my book to see if there was anything else that I did. Oh, the piggy I stitched in tea and biscuit and black coffee. I did not add any of the back stitches. So there are a lot of back stitches on the scarf and um, in the truck window. I never do the truck window, but there's a lot of um, back stitches and I did not do those. And on the cardinals right here, they called for a white French knot. And so instead I put a white X there. So... And I don't know, I think I might need to add like one or two snowflakes here, like some single stitches, we'll see. If y'all think I should, let me know. But I am very excited to be caught up and that looks kind of funny right there. So that is my, my one finish from this week. So even though I did Jolly Housewives, I kind of threw that in. This came out on Saturday. Ooh. It's called Berries in Bloom. It is a brand new free pattern from Hands on Design that she sent out in her newsletter. And you can find it on her site or in her newsletter. We're not linking to it because she wants you to come directly to her site. Um, Cheryl stitched this on 32 count Lugana from her stash and she used the called for DMC. And so as always, when I see something free, that you can download and just do at home. I always want to show it. So I showed it to Cheryl on Saturday. I think it was Saturday. And I said, hey, Cheryl, do you want to stitch this? And she did. So that's so exciting. And um, really nice detail right here with the little um, brown, like, stitches that come off of the... It's so cute. So I love it. So thank you to Cheryl for stitching that. And we have a ton of frame stitches framed finishes. So Priscilla finished these for me. So thank you to Priscilla. Oh my gosh. Wow. So pretty, right? So this is Fright Night. She finished it on a frame from Michael's. The SKU number is 610129. And Priscilla did a blog post on all of these and anything you need to know about how she finished is in that blog post. Mm. Can you zoom out a tiny bit more? This one's so big. 
And these are her Priscilla's plaids. And I think there'll be some Priscilla's, um, some Chelsea checks in here in a little bit. This one's so awesome. I can't wait to get this home. So Kevin is going to love this one. Kevin loves, the one thing about Kevin is he loves Halloween. I have no idea why he loves it so much. And every year I just, I can't even, I can't contain him. The next finish that she did for me is October Trucking Along. So you can see she did hers as two pieces. And here's mine. So this is a paddle from Hobby Lobby. The number is 5905518. It was in the spring shop. She put two bows. And then um, this was part, I think, of a, it was part of a, like a pick series. And I think she pulled it off. And you can see I added piggy here. This my little piggy. And then the next one is November trucking along. So you can see I'm just really trucking along on my trucking alongs. That's my pun for today. And this is so cute. This is like a little wooden piece that she glued on a bow. This is Lori's B, B natural lace or natural lace. And then she put some skinny rickrack and then you can see piggy here so let me see the other one that i just showed i'm going to show you sometimes i put piggy in caramel caramel and sometimes i put piggy in tea and biscuits and kind of i don't really know why but i think sometimes if i put sometimes i feel like he's too light so sometimes i do him light sometimes i do him dark kind of just depends so i don't know i just think it's kind of fun and these are all using her priscilla's pretty plaids that are back in stock we will have more bundles in a couple maybe next week the next one she finished is kelvin and trixie it is part of the sip of the season series so the sip of the season series always has like a border that goes around and an animal holding a cup look at how cute i love it so this is finished in a frame from Michaels. The number is 274258. And look, oh, and she drew me Piggy to put in the cup. So now if I ever want to put Piggy in a cup, I already have him drawn. <laughs> and then this is Happiness is Homemade. So this is a free pattern that we have designed at Fat Quarter Shop. You can find it on our blog. We, um, she, I stitched this with called for DMC. The fabric is Aqua Ada 14 count by Fabric Flair. And Priscilla finished this in a frame from Hobby Lobby and the number is 1850700. We have a finishing tutorial if you wanna finish it as a hoop which is right here. And it is on our Fat Quarter Shop Floss Tube channel called How to Finish a Cross Stitch in a Hoop. And then there are four other, actually, yeah, four other finishes too. So first I'm gonna show you the two that I did as part of Jolly July. So there were several from Jolly July. There are several more than this, but I just wanted to show you these two. So starting with that tradition, they came out with more since for Jolly Housewives. So I'm gonna show you all four. They're all available as a PDF. This is Gingerbread Cottage. This one is Sweet Delivery. Santa's Cookies. And Mrs. Claus Cookies. So, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So she put gingerbread, the gingerbread button. Now this is Chelsea's Checks. So you can see this is the Chelsea's Checks. It's smaller and this is the Priscilla's Plaid. Exact same fabric, different scale. And again, um, per Henry Glass, I can start pre-selling that January 4th and it will be online January 4th. And Priscilla finished them. Um, so all of my Jolly Julys have the same here and the same top, and then all of my Jolly, Jolly Housewives holidays with the, well, I did these before Jolly, Jolly 
Yeah, I did these before Jolly Housewives, so I was thinking of the word. Sorry. <laughs> and um, they're all finished the same. And if you would like a tutorial on how to do this, Priscilla and Chelsea filmed it, and they talk about how you um, do the front, the back, and everything. So if you want to know how to do these, definitely subscribe to their YouTube channel, which is Stitching with the Housewives. So those are like my finish finishes and then I'm going to show you our flash sale and our new items and Lily is going to start coming back. Do you want to go ahead and do this section? Lily can sure. do the flash sale and sure. the new section and I'm going to try to find my mask and okay. where is my mask? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, okay. It's on the side. Okay. So I will be right back and Lily's going to come right. and Lily, I'm so proud of her. She's going to do a new um, pattern and stitch along with us through 2021. Yes. I'm excited. Okay. Oh, wait. I need something to ask you. Oh, oh, ask you to camera. press the camera button. Oh. All right. Hello, everyone. Nice to see you all again. Let me take my mask off. Yay. Uh, flash sales are right here under, right? This is flash sales? Just that one. Just this one. Okay. Can you press, Denise, the button that says Freddy, please? Hey, thank you, Denise. So this is our flash sale today. It is Where There Is Life Cross Stitch Pattern by Little House Needleworks and Country Cottage Needleworks in partnership with Hoffman Distributing Company, Incorporated. Super cute. And, oh, it looks like they have like two colorings of it. And little bunnies. Look at their little bunny tails. They're tiny and cute. All right, and then I do have a tiny, tiny update on my stitching. I haven't been working on my stitching very much at the moment, um, but I'll show you guys uh, where I'm at. So this was my pattern that I had started stitching in front of y'all, and it's by Tiny Marginus. It's called Farm Fresh and Homegrown. It is a downloadable PDF that you can purchase, and as you guys can see, I changed my carrot color here. Um, I was not happy, too happy with the orange carrot, as it was very bright orange, like it's almost the same color as this tape. It's very neon. Um, and this was actually the call for color. Um, a lot of these other colors I've kind of adjusted and changed based off of just what I found in the moment. Um, but then I was like, you know what? There's, there's purple carrots. So I made a purple carrot and the next one's probably just going to be a dark orange one. Um, and yeah, I have a bit of an apple done. It's going to be another apple here. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to show you guys this, uh, finished hopefully by the end of the year question mark and then uh, a while back for halloween i had downloaded this free pattern um off of our website uh from scary apothecary it's called favorite brew it's by hands-on design and this is what i got so far this is just uh what i stitched literally on halloween night since i didn't go out or do anything um yeah so it's got well i guess it is a free pattern so it's got uh what's this called potion bottle mm -hmm. And then like swirls coming out. Um, and as you guys can see, I got the spells and charms bit done um, with my cute little pumpkin needle minder. And I want to get more needle minders. We have so many cute ones now that um, I have like three of them added to my cart right now. Denise is laughing at me. All right. And can you press the button that says fancy, please? Uh, but yeah, that has been updates from me and flash sale for today. And Kimberly's back. So I'll let her come back on. Do, do, do intermission intermission music mm -hmm. thank you lily <laughs> oh, thank you. so i've been have you have you ever seen bailey bailey mm. it's, it's it's a crime channel it's oh, no. bailey seriously or something like that she does true crime and murder makeup and murder anyway she does a song like that oh <laughs> at the beginning of all her videos she's like D -d 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 -d, and i always think of lily when i watch it that's funny <laughs> um yeah oh Okay, so let me answer any questions and then I'm gonna tell you my whole story and that way everybody who doesn't care about my personal life can turn off because I'm sure most of you could care less. That's funny. Uh, from KJ Merceau, will you be selling the frame for the sampler of the month? Yes, we ordered it months and months ago. I mean, we can follow up and try to get an answer. I'm not sure of the date on that, but yes, we're trying to sell it because I wanna use it too. And from Mary Fowler, will we be able to purchase just the pattern for the sampler? Frame? Yes, and that's going to go online um, today or tomorrow after we run the club. 
we always um, let the club members get it first. And from Jordan Ginter, I started a project in the middle of a fat quarter and I have a lot of fabric left over around the edges. Any recommendations on how to salvage as much fabric as possible? So I would figure out where you're getting it framed or how you're gonna finish it, cut off just what you need. And then like, for example, the one that I showed you earlier from the sampler club that I had a little bit left over, I saved it. And I like had it in my office and Denise was like, what is that? I was like, oh, it's left over from that. So I save it and even if it's, even if it's too small, to use you could put the color name on it and that way because i am pl we're planning denise and i spent this week planning what we're doing for 2021 and um whoa that's gonna take a lot of my energy when i saw how much i'm doing i was like whoa but it's gonna be awesome uh, vicky in kansas says tell kimberly hallmark has a pug ornament this year he's wearing a red sweater oh i'm gonna i'm gonna have to get that online then Ooh. maybe yeah maybe Ooh, but let me wait. Let me, yeah, let me, yeah, maybe, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I I need anything pug. It drives Kevin crazy. He's like, oh, the dog. Mm -hmm. So a little tidbit that's kind of funny is I had surgery last Friday and Kevin had to take care of the dog and it was hilarious. He was like, he didn't even know how to pick up the dog or, because I can't pick the dog up to put him in the bed and he can't jump in the bed. And so Kevin had to touch the dog. I was like, yes, you have to touch the dog. Mm -hmm. He's never had a pet ever, like any kind mm -hmm. of pet ever. So he's like, what do I do? I'm like, it's not that hard. <laughs> Just love on them and feed them. Yeah. And let them outside. Uh, from Jean Draper, how are you able to get all your stitches to lay so flat and beautiful while stitching so quickly? I do a lot of un, um, unthreading the needle, straightening the threads, and I think a lot of it is tension. Just making sure, like, if I go over the top X and the bottom X is real fluffy, I'll unstitch and then kind of tighten up my stitches on the first row. So I try to make sure my first row is tight so that when I go over, it lays flat. Because if you go over and it's like your other stitches are like coming out, kind of like dough coming out of a, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's like they look like dough expanding or something. I unstitch. And from Kaylin Beattie, what are the bright colors? Oh, on the edge of Lily's cross stitch fabric. I think you're talk asking about the masking tape. I think it was just masking oh, tape. Oh, masking tape on the edge. Yeah, I, I did that on both the pieces I showed. So I think that that was that. So I want to show you um, some new stuff that we have, and then I'll tell you my story. So this came out. I think this is going to be super popular. It's by Mac Waxing Moon Designs, and you know they're known for their trios. And this is so cute. I mean, I want to make it, so I'll probably add it to something that I do in the future. And this is brand new by Country Cottage Needleworks, home for the holidays. And it's got cute little gingerbread men. And this is an older Teresa Kogut that Lori Holt is stitching. And hers looks really good. Um, I've seen it. She's going to show it in one of her videos. But she changed the letters to more of a blue. And so we uh, brought that in. It's called Stew Snowman. And then Blackbird Designs is called Early Christmas Morning. And so there's that. And then Shannon Christine is super popular, and these are her new designs. This is Winter Snowfall, and there are three colorways in this. So she shows you blue, purple, and I can't remember the other color. I think it was green, but there are um, thread listings for different colorways. And then she has Gumdrop's House and Peppermint's House. So Ooh. that's what we have that's new. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you my little story. So Ooh. I guess I don't like, I, I'm not a fan of movies. I like music, but I don't love it. I like a very few artists. I like Chris Stapleton. I like Dave Matthews. I like U2, um, Beastie Boys, and Sturgill Simpson. That's about all I listen to. That's my repertoire. So. So when y'all were guessing, I was like, okay, it's not gonna be any musician because I like music, but I don't love it enough. Mm -hmm. And I don't really like movies, so, but I love comedians. So like I said, when Kevin and I were dating, we saw Mitch Hedgeberg, 
I think five or six times and I saw him once without Kevin. Mitch Hedgeberg is amazing if you ever want to see something funny and just die laughing. Google his stuff. He has since passed away, um, but he was hilarious. And one other thing that Kevin and I used to do is we used to go watch Ron White. He lives here now, but um, he has always played here at different places. So I've seen him at Paramount. I've seen him at a dive bar. I think he's hilarious. He's um, tater salad. I mean, I don't know. You'd have to watch him. He's very funny. Um, I don't know how much comedy he's going to be doing right now, but because now he's got a tequila company, and so I think he's like just doing his tequila company. But I love comedians. So those are the those are the two that I love. But I love Dave Chappelle. Like, it doesn't have anything to do with the things that he says, but he is so funny, and I love him. And I know that he has been in San Antonio and in Austin because there's been articles about it because he got in a fight with somebody at four seasons so it was like all over the tabloids so we knew so you know you and then I saw him on Joe Rogan Joe Rogan does a podcast it's now owned by Spotify it's still on YouTube through the end of the year he just got a hundred million dollar deal to basically have his content put on Spotify but I love Joe Rogan I think he's funny and I think that Joe Rogan is a stand-up guy like I listen to a lot of podcasts he has never once ever said anything rude about his wife, ever. And let me tell you, that is something to say about somebody who is a comedian and who talks about crazy stuff. But I love Joe Rogan. I've always wanted to see him. He came to Austin about three years ago, and I wanted to get tickets. The tickets were like $500 a piece. I wasn't going to go by myself. And they were up in the upper rafters. And so I was like, well, you know, I can't really justify $1,000 for that. Well, apparently last Friday, Joe Rogan and Dave Chappelle, there's five shows with those two, five shows with Dave Chappelle and other people. So 10 shows in Austin at Stubbs Barbecue outside. I had no idea. Tickets went on sale, they sold out in 30 seconds. So all 10 shows sold out in 30 seconds. I knew nothing about it because Joe Rogan doesn't talk about his comedy stuff on his podcast that much because I do listen to most of his podcasts. Um, I mean, I knew Joe Rogan lived, moved here um, because I listened to his podcast. I knew Dave Chappelle was here because I like Dave Chappelle, so I kind of know what's going on. Well, so no idea, like all weekend, didn't know anything about the show, nothing. And I was on Facebook and a friend from college, he loves comedians too. And so he put on there, hey, I might have tickets for Dave Chappelle, Joe Rogan. These are the four nights that I might be able to get them. This is how much the tickets are, and um, let me know if you're interested. So I wrote, and I was like, I'm interested, and two people. So then he sent me a message the next day and said, hey, Laura and Paul are going to go. So Laura is how I met this friend. So Laura was my best friend growing up. She lived across the street in one house over. Her sister was married to my brother for a very long time. The last time I saw Laura was at my sister-in-law's funeral, um, just because I think that it's really hard when you have divorce, alcoholism, stuff gets tricky. And we kind of lost touch just because it's kind of a difficult subject. Like, it's a difficult subject to have. It's just a difficult thing. And we, we were friends forever. We did everything together for years and years and years. I'm talking like 20 years. Um, her kids are a lot older than mine. And we, I haven't seen her since the funeral. So when Jim wrote back and was like, hey, I think Laura and Paul are coming, I was like, whoa. And then somebody else ended up coming. But it was kind of an event. You have to buy a table. So you could buy a table of four, six, or eight. He got a table of eight. I knew everyone at the table except, you know, two of the people. So the way it worked is you got there at 530. You went through, um, you had to have your tickets. You had to all be there. So all eight had to be there. You couldn't go in separately. You went in together, you stood in a line that was, it was all corded off where you couldn't be and they kept your group like between like all these different things. That took about two hours. You get to the, you get inside to this cattle, literally it's like how they do at rodeos where there's like cattle sections and they're divided by six feet. You all go in together, you do the COVID test, five seconds each nostril, it hurt. But I was like, 
I'm going to die. Kevin did it before me, so I was like, good, Kevin has to do it. But and <laughs> the way that they do it is if, and if you test negative, everyone that lives in your house has to leave or whatever. But we all tested fine, which, I mean, I figured we would. And um, then you go in, you go to your table. Now, the rule was th- they had food, and the food was excellent. I will tell you that I was shocked. I was like, whoa, this is like, because it's a bar, so you would think the food is, it was at Stubbs. Um, the food was excellent. And the rule was you had to have your mask on unless you were eating or drinking. And if you weren't, I mean, they were on you about it. You could only go to a designated restroom. So when you sat down, your your waiter told you what restroom. And that's the only place you could go. And if, if you were, like, walking somewhere, they would be like, no, you need to sit down. So, um, but it was amazing. Um, Joe Rogan was so funny. Dave Chappelle was so funny. They ended it um, by, they ended it singing a Radiohead song called Creep. It was amazing. Like, can you just imagine Dave Chappelle and Joe Rogan singing Creep? I mean, come on. (laughs) Um, And there was a couple of other comedians. It was great. Um, It was great to see an old friend. But that was on my bucket list. I think I even said it last time, is that if Dave Chappelle and Joe Rogan ever did a show, I would, like, die to go. And honestly, the ticket prices were less than what I would have paid just to see Joe Rogan years ago. And um, Kevin's not, Kevin, like with Joe Rogan, he's like, I know he was like an MMA. He was an MMA announcer. And he really didn't know anything about him. He doesn't know anything about his podcast. And like Dave Chappelle, he was like, Kim, I haven't even seen like his last Netflix specials because Kevin's really into music. And he likes to listen to other stuff than me. Um, like not true crime or anything like that, but he laughed the whole time. And our seats were literally two tables away from them. So great seats. And what I was talking about was there was like a little bar table next to us and Ron White came and sat down and like the security immediately came up because that's what I'm saying. It's like, if you, um, Lily's changing the screen. Sorry, we're changing the battery. But um, if you got out of your seat or you were somewhere you weren't supposed to be, security was all over you. So security immediately went up to Ron White and they were like, excuse me, um, this table, you know, whatever, trying to tell him. And he was like, oh, sorry, I'm about to go backstage. And then one of the cops, because there was a ton of security there, you could tell who Dave Chappelle's security was. And then there was paid cops. And the paid cop had to come over and say, hey, he's fine. It's Ron White. (laughs) And then, um, yeah, so it was amazing. I mean, I've seen Ron White a million times, but I didn't say anything to him. I mean, he was just like right there. And I was like, oh my gosh, I could touch him. Like I literally, he was that close. I could touch him. But yeah, I love comedians. I don't, I don't, even considering what's going on in the world, I don't do much. Like I don't, I don't go out. I don't do, even with what's going on in the world, I don't go to the movies. I don't do anything. I just chill with my kids. But it was so fun. And then, oh, and they put your phone in these pouches. And I've always heard about this, like, where they put your phones away. And I was like, I don't know. I don't understand. So when you go in, they're like, I mean, when I say there was security there, I don't know. These people must get mobbed because there were so many people there, so many security people. And the lady who did the test, she said every day, she said, I've gotten this test 20 days in a row. She's like, you have to get tested every day if you work there. Mm -hmm. Um, So it was like a pouch. And you put it in and they put like, you know how like if you go to the mall and they put the shoplifting tags, mm-hmm. they put a shoplifting tag on it. Well, first they make sure you turn it off. You have to prove you turn it off. Your ringer, airplane mode, everything, they check it. They put that thing on and you put it in your purse and when you leave, they'll let you get it out. Mm. So no phones, no, um, yeah. So I don't know if y'all have any questions, but yeah, it was mm. so fun. It was just like, I don't know, just... For me, I don't do much. And it was just like, okay. And I told Kevin, I was like, well, first, oh, so Kevin, I told, so Kevin came in my office. I was like, I have the best news ever. I have these tickets. And he was like, Kim, it's COVID. And I was like, but they have the COVID test. You have to do a test. And this is, it's socially distanced. And you have to buy a table. And you can only sit, like, you have to sit with your friends or whatever. Um, and he was like, ah, oh, whatever. He's like, I don't know, I don't know. And I was like, well, I already bought you a ticket, so you have to go. Like, I already bought the ticket. You're not backing out. And I was like, I'll just take Denise. And he's like, oh, whatever. But then he loved it. He, he thought it was great. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think for him, he didn't really know who Joe Rogan is. He's like, 
I don't, he, he even told me, he was like, I don't even know. Like, he's like, it's not somebody that I would think that you would think is funny. And I was like, oh, he's funny. He's funny. That's great. Oh, I'm glad he had such a good time. So, so guys, I'll see you guys next week. And um, next week will be the last live stream of 2020. So make sure to join us next week. It'll also be our 100th floss tube. Oh, wow. Woohoo. See you guys then.